Hey guys, I'm Supreme Sabine Santana, and today we have a new Lego set to review. This is the Epic Battle set, Cole vs. Ghostly, as you can see here. This set has 51 pieces and is recommended for ages 66 plus. The set number is 71733. At the back of the box, we can see Cole battling the Ghost Warrior. And then we also see this lantern build, and this takes place in the city of Styx, so I think it actually works well. And then there's an advertisement for the rest of them. There's Kai versus Skulkin, Zane versus Nindroid, and Jay versus Serpentine. And I don't really know what side to call this, but we can see um, the, um, how strong each character is. And I calculated this, and it looks like Cole is a little bit stronger than the Ghost Warrior. This set has two minifigures, and is right and has and is ten dollars. Now that I've shown you the box of this set, let's start building it. Cole. As you can see, he has a scythe, which this scythe is a little different than other scythes. It actually, if you look closely, you can see it looks like he's moving it really fast. It's supposed to look like that. It looks like, like that with the sword right here. It looks like that with, let me get the nunchucks. Here are the nun, wait, no, that's the sword. There, there's two of each um, weapon, except for um, the shurikens, which I'll show you right after I show you the nunchucks. See, if you look closely, you can see nunchucks right here. And then the shurikens, they have it too. But instead of um, instead of two, they get four. Because, of course, a ninja would hold four shurikens. I mean, 
two shurikens, one in each hand, so they would have four. The ghost is not exclusive to this set. This ghost is in this ghost is in the um Titan the Zane's Titan mech, but it's still pretty new because it's 2021. The ghost's face is um new for 2021 too, but it's not exclusive to this set. This whole minifigure is not exclusive except for the um this piece, which if you count this if you count accessories as part of the minifigure, then this minifigure would be exclusive to the set. But technically it the accessory is not part of the minifigure. We of course have this spinner which you can use to make coal or the ghost if you wanted to just make it too. It gets it out of the way. See, so it works pretty well. Let's try it with the ghost. See, so the spin jitsu works pretty well. Of course, this is in a lot of other sets, but they don't come in in mini size that often. So this is pretty new. So um, mini size is also new for 2021. The mini build, which I guess technically both of these are mini builds, but the smallest build in this set is the hot dog stand. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is like a little Easter egg or a reference to something in season five of Ninjago. But as far as I know, I just don't remember this. I don't know what this comes from. There's like a green hot dog. Of course, this. This is only four pieces all together, but still, I have no idea what this is from. And then, the main build of this set is, of course, this side build, which it looks like you can have, like, a cooking stand. It really reminds me of something from the Hidden Side theme. You could have a cooking stand. And then, of course, the ghost. It really reminds me of something from Hidden Side, like regular city things and then ghosts wandering it. And you have this lantern, which is very nice. You can swing it. And then, of course, the egg. Overall, this is a really good set. I think this is worth $10. If you're looking to create a ghost army, this could be a starter or just another addition. Or if you or if you really like this minifigure, I think you should definitely get it. And for $10, it's unbeatable. Of course, these ninjas are exclusive to this set. And the coal, and the coal hair does not come in too many sets. I think this might be the cheapest way to get it. Now that I've shown you this set, I hope you have a great day. Bye.